And even as an adult now, I deal just because of the way that I am and like the way that I carry myself and how much I love myself, I deal with cyberbullying all the time. And also in person too. Like I've been approached before by parents whose kids follow me um, on social media and they're like, you know, like I think you're making my son gay. <sighs> I'm like, well, um, that's not how it works. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, um, you know, if your son is gay, he's probably gay. Yeah. So go love your gay son. Which is also really sad because if they actually took a deep dive into your social media, what you're doing is actually just showing other people's voices and, exactly. and putting out probably the most thoughtful vibes of taking care of a community. Right. You said earlier that um, in the black community, going to therapy, um, um, uh, being open about your feelings, uh, connecting with others is, is very rare and it's, um, I've actually not only read about it, but um, Daryl from Run DMC, DMC from yes. Run DMC, he came out with a book called um, um, 10 Ways Not to Commit Suicide. And I read it, it was a, it beautifully written, but I also, because of the Jed Foundation, I heard him talk and he, now what he does in his, his spare time is he goes to a lot of um, black male youth groups and, right. and, and schools and he talks to them about the importance of uh, taking care of your mental health, the importance of therapy, which is what saved his life. Even at the peak of his career, um, he was the most depressed he'd ever been. Oh, tell me why.